This local sports report is brought to you by Peter Izio from Izio Financial Solutions, helping you ensure financial stability for your family or business. Call Peter today for expert advice from an experienced advisor. Call now to book an appointment at 519-576-5410. Wherever I land, I'll be happy to play and I don't have any no no goes. So I'm happy to play it anywhere in this country. And I just want to be the best football player ready to go for camp this summer. These are exciting times for Waterloo's Bryce Bell as he anxiously awaits the CFL draft on Tuesday, May 4th. Bell is a 295-pound offensive lineman who is ranked 19th overall in the CFL Scouting Bureau's final draft rankings. I really think I have good athleticism in the box. We always talk about s speed is efficiency in the box, so I feel like I'm efficient in my movements. I'm a very technical O-line player and I'm able to bend well and move fast and really impart a lot of force as a guy who wasn't really the biggest or strongest guy in the weight room, but was able to translate a lot of field strength. Tuesday night, I'll be at home watching the draft with my family and they've always been such a great support for me, my parents and helping me through this. It's been a lot of food for sure. And my mom's a, my mom's a great cook and she's helped me put on the pounds and just get myself and my body right and make sure, making sure I'm prepared to play at the highest level each week. So my parents have been a great support. My All my extended family have always supported my football journey. And so uh, my family's always been amazing for me. Some analysts say Bell could potentially be a first round pick on Tuesday. He spent the last four years with the Laurier Golden Hawks winning a Yates Cup in his rookie season. Before that, he played two years with the Cambridge Lions. In 2016, he won the OVFL Championship with the Lions. He is also a graduate of Sir John A. McDonald in Waterloo and is thankful to Highlanders head coach Josh Alexander for the opportunities he provided in Wicks of football. I had a great high school coach in Josh Alexander who really opened my eyes to the ability for me to play university football and and have the opportunity to take sports farther and I've always had a great love of sports and seeing football and enjoying it so much and there's creating a love for it in high school I just wanted to carry that forward into university and it's just built every single year since. Zach Scotto and Herb Damon also played a key role in Bell's development. They both coached the 23-year-old during his time at Laurier. First and foremost, I probably want to talk about my O-line coach, Zach Scotto. He's really been with me since the start. I've played probably five years of football with him, but maybe eight or nine seasons in that time. So it's been a lot of football together with him and he was one of the persons who helped onboard me to the Laurier program and really helped recruit me to that system. And so without talking about Zach Scotto, I, I would go wrong. And another key, key coach that helped me along that journey was at the start was Irv Damon, who was my head O-line coach at Laurier for my first three years. He was also a big impact on my mentality of the game and, and just how to play O-line at a, at a, elite level where you really need to take it at, with a war mentality going in with your brothers and everything needs to be prepared to the finest detail and just taking that mentality seriously and really believing and having full buy-in to the unit. So those two guys really makes the O-line room at Laurier unique, I feel like. And then there's other great supporting factors at Laurier, like Dwayne Cameron was a recruiting coordinator there when I entered and Coach Falls has been there since the start. So the coaching staff has been a great support that entire time. But then also I've had amazing vets at Laurier, which is one of the biggest things for me is the vet support. And I take that very seriously and trying to like foster a good, like foster a good O-line room and make sure that people feel welcomed and it's a place that they can improve. And so I had a great vet with Chris Reddy who, who saw what I was coming in at 235 pounds. And he made sure to really get me in with the amazing strength and conditioning coach and Jesse Collins. And 
he's really helped me put on the weight and put on the strength to be this this be this person who I am today. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.